Hello everyone. So uh, the reason why I'm posting this video for you to watch is because at one o'clock today at school, there's going to be a fire drill. And so <laughs> I'm going to have to leave at one o'clock when the fire alarm goes off. I'm pretty sure. I've heard rumors. So, um, so what I wanted to do is just post a quick video explaining what we're doing today so you guys don't have to hang around on Zoom or waiting for me because I won't be here. Um, so here's the deal. Uh, Originally, in our weekly overview, today I planned on having a review day for a test that we were going to have on Monday. I was having some technical difficulties yesterday and last night creating that uh, review packet online. Um, and so what I, I'm just pushing everything a day. So what that means for you is that the test that we are having next week on this whole world's end unit, that test will happen on Tuesday and we will review and go over uh, the test on Monday, okay? So what we're doing today then is, <clears throat> well, actually it's gonna be something we were gonna do on Tuesday. After completing your do now today, which is the engagement and learning rubric, what I want you to then go do is the assignment on Canvas called Evaluating Media, Worlds and Videos. So the directions are both on the assignment page in Canvas and on the assignment itself once you open it. But I'll just review the basics of today's assignment. So you are going to be choosing one of six videos to watch. Um, all of these videos are informational educational videos that have to do with some topic that surrounds the end of the world idea that this whole unit has been based off of. Uh, videos include geoengineering, solar storms, plastic pollution, which is taking over the oceans, the death of bees, the bee apocalypse, uh, death from space, uh, gamma ray bursts, and antibiotic apocalypse. These are, these are all topics that I feel connect to the end of the world unit that we've been working with. Once you watch those videos, which are anywhere between seven to 10 minutes long, not too bad, um, there are a number of assignments to go through for each video, tasks. There are a total of five different tasks. So the first task is to make a prediction of what the video is gonna be like based on the title. So you wanna do the first task before you watch the video. And then the second task is to take notes on the key ideas and details from that video. So when I did this, I watched about a minute or two, I paused, I wrote down a, like one or two notes, just some key ideas, this is something that I learned. And then I played another two minutes and I paused and I put down another couple of ideas that I learned. And I just did that um, so I could remember everything in the video. Then I want you to do a, a brief writing reflection where you are just um, summarizing the video, like based on those notes, like what was this video about and how you felt about the video, video? like how did it connect to the world's end uh, central idea? How, um, how did your view on the topic change? I, I provide all of these directions in the assignment itself. And then finally, um, the last two tasks are to write down a few questions you have about the topic now that you have watched the video. And then finally, and this really goes to the heart of the assignment today, is I want you to reflect on if the video seems credible to you. And credible just means trustworthy and reliable. So in other words, did the video you watch, is that something that you feel can you can trust as a source of information? or Maybe you can't trust it. Maybe you can't believe it. So I want you to actually be thinking about, um, you know, is this video that I just watched something I can trust? Because that is an important piece of information that um, we all have to deal with in this day and age of everybody posting videos um, online and people learning from them. But are they things we can trust? So you have five tasks along with the video you have to watch. It took my first class about, um, well, most of them between 45 minutes to an hour throughout the day to get that done. So it's not too bad. Um, some quicker, some longer. But um, if you are done early, certainly make sure that all of your work for this week is completed, that you've done both of those reading quizzes. 
And, uh, and once you have completed that, you are done for the day and you can enjoy your weekend. So I will be on Zoom uh, to start the class and I will be on Zoom for a little bit afterward when I'm back from the fire drill. But you, can, you don't have to go on to Zoom if you don't feel the need. Just make sure you get your work done. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend.